again back live with Blockade Australia. Please let me know if you can hear me. It's quite windy. Um, this is the second day of sustained disruption of Australia. My name is Arno and I'm currently hanging off a structure. You can see in the background here. Um, that's what we call a bipod. And I'm currently hanging over the edge of a bridge, which is the only access to the Hutchison terminal of Port Botany in so-called Sydney. And I'm effectively blocking all trucks from entering and exiting the terminal. Um, I'd like, like to start by acknowledging that I'm taking this action on the land of the Bechigal people and their sovereignty was never ceded and I'd like to pay my respect to elders past and present. I would also like to pay my respect to all the resistance fighters around the continent who've been fighting the Australian system since the colony started about 250 years ago. Just like Tom yesterday, I'm taking this action under the banner of Blockade Australia. And when we say Australia, we are not talking about the everyday people living on this continent or the actual landmass itself. We are talking about the extractive and exploitative system that has been imposed on this continent by the biggest empire at the time, about 250 years ago. Um, we believe that the system is rigged. It's rigged against the people, it's rigged against the land, the climate, the wildlife and basically all life on earth. It exploits all of it to serve a really small proportion of people that we would refer to as the ruling class. That's what it has done in Europe before it was imported and that's what it has done on this continent since the first contact. To protect the system of oppression, the rulers, the political class and their profits, Australia is willing to do anything up to mass murdering people, which we saw in the genocide of first peoples on this continent. Got some uh, police just arriving here. I'm not planning to talk to them. I'll just go on. Um, also, Australia is a huge contributor in the climate and ecological crisis that we are currently facing, and in fact, is structured in a way that makes real change, which is necessary for survival, absolutely impossible within the system. And to everyone who's thinking about stop to stop um, watching this live stream by now and things like oh but well, there's no alternative it's the best we've got I would say that 250 years are a joke in comparison to the thousands of generations who lived on this continent before it was invaded and yeah I guess I should talk about um, what I'm actually doing here and why I'm doing this. So Port Botany is one of Australia's largest container ports and fuel import facilities. Um, therefore it's crucial to the functioning of Australia. Also Port Botany was the first site of contact when the empire landed on this continent in 1788. And I reckon Locking Australia where it started is pretty cool. So, yeah, just gonna show you around a bit. Hello, are you gonna so, talk to us? Got a few police officers down here. Are you gonna talk to us, mate? It's of truckies over there. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Um, well. Take a second and enjoy the view. 
Maybe not on the port, but oh, on the other side it's the airport. Not that much better. I just switch the camera around for a bit. attached to a pole over there so if a truck runs through the line I'm falling about I guess seven meters or so and I hope no one will do that We've got a huge container terminal over here the machinery is massive and that's exactly the kind of machinery we should get in the way of Through direct action, we build grassroots power and political leverage um, to make the change necessary for survival. Um, yeah, and we are definitely not gonna ask those in power nicely, we are opposing them. And also, it's not about Liberal or Labour or any other party. It's about the system and the power structure upholding it. And yeah, I also hope I made this very clear. I'm not here because I'm just into birds or, you know, against plastic straws or anything. Not here to achieve policy changes or other minor changes to the facade of Australia. I'm here because I want to tackle the crisis by its cause and therefore we have to confront the Australian system. And yeah, once again, when I talk about the system, I'm talking about the system that displaces people, that incarcerates people, that leaves people homeless, that leaves people starving, that isolates refugees on islands and yeah the system that is already killing people all around the world and will eventually kill all of us if we don't get in, in the way of it mm. so yeah we're gonna have a huge public mobilization here in sydney um, starting on june 27th till the 2nd of July and yeah I reckon you should all come over get your arm into a lock on or swing off a bridge or I don't know take care of the community help us with uh, whatever skills you've got we need it all and yeah I turn the thing around again because, yeah, I'm a bit sick of talking. Wow. Um, yeah, another thing. Also got this um, lock-on up here. And, yeah. They gonna try to get a cherry picker in or something gonna wrap it around my structure just like out here kinda and yeah let's see how they get me out of that I reckon it's gonna take ages
Looks like the workers are interested. Sorry everyone, it must be heaps loud with the wind. Commenting. No comment. Maybe I kind of start again for people who just tuned in. Um, I'm currently hanging off this biport over the edge of the bridge, um, which is the only access to this massive port terminal of Port Botany. And yeah, I'm effectively stopping all trucks from exiting and entering the terminal. The cops have already showed up, but they seem to not be doing much. Um, yeah, and once again, um, yeah, we are here to resist Australia. I'm talking of Australia as the Australian system, which extracts and exploits and yeah it's not not good for anyone except really few rich people that we would yeah call the rulers or the ruling class or political class and yeah we believe that through direct action like this we can actually take some of the power back and take things in our, into our own hands um because yeah, holding placards or protesting in front of Parliament House hasn't worked. We've seen that over decades. And yeah, we've just, yeah, we don't have any time left. And if we don't stop this, Australia is gonna kill us all, I reckon. again that I'm taking this action on Michigan on the land of the Michigan people and yeah once again pay my respect to elders past present and emerging and yeah. I might swing you guys around again oh. yeah I hope some of the workers enjoy their time off. Wow, we've got police rescue arriving. truck <laughs> it's interesting to see how many cops you need to remove one person so 
I'm calling on all of you to join us in Sydney, June 27th till July 2nd. And yeah, we gotta do heaps more of this to yeah fight the system and yeah have a livable future. Hey guys, I might just put you in my pocket for two minutes or maybe one and take a breath and organize some stuff and I'll be back in a second. Hi Brian! Um, Wow, okay, that was a bit quicker than expected, um, yeah, maybe I take you on to the action. <laughs> Please start to play around with the rope. If I fall and the structure falls on me, I might just be dead. I already told the police that I'm not commenting, so they can try talking to me, but it's not gonna help that much. Sorry everyone, 